Hey everybody, my name is Richard McMunn from the psychometric testing website PassMyJobTest.com and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you the best way to pass an abstract reasoning test. Now please do stick around and watch this tutorial from beginning to end because I'm going to walk through in a slow pace how to tackle abstract reasoning tests. I'm going to give you some brilliant tips and tricks for answering them quickly and more importantly I will get you to try some as well. So the important thing to know from the get-go is what an abstract reasoning test is. So the question is what is an abstract reasoning test? Well an abstract reasoning test assesses your ability to quickly identify patterns, rules and different trends usually in shapes. So we will be presented with a series of shapes and we have to decide which shape comes next in the sequence. Now there are different types of abstract reasoning tests and I will work through all of them within this tutorial but this forms the basis of an abstract reasoning test question. So let's take a look at one, work through it together in slow pace so you understand exactly what you need to do and then I will get you to try some yourself. So question one, which shape comes next in the sequence? Now you can see that we are presented with four squares, all with different shapes inside and different colors, black and white. So these are designed to confuse you. And then you are presented with different answer options. Is it A, B, C, or D? So if you look at this as it is presented, it looks very confusing. Now the important thing you need to do with any abstract reasoning test is to first of all ignore the answer options. Don't look at the answer options, focus purely on the sequence of shapes. And the first thing to do is to look for a pattern. So always work with the shape on the left hand side first of all and then work across and look for a pattern. So as it progresses along the sequence you will see that each shape moves up and across anti-clockwise or counterclockwise as it moves along. So it goes from there to there to there as it moves around the sequence. So the first thing is look at that shape there. It then moves in the second part to there then moves up one, then moves up another one. So that is our pattern. So the first thing you need to do when tackling abstract reasoning tests is to identify a pattern or a trend. And you can see there why it's so important not to look at the answer options yet. So identify a pattern or a trend. The second step is to then eliminate obvious incorrect answers. And this will speed up your ability to answer abstract reasoning test questions significantly. So you identify the pattern, eliminate any obvious incorrect answers, and then select the correct one. So let's do that now. So which shape comes next in the sequence, A, B, C, or D? So what we need to do is to look for any of these shapes that have that one there, because that's where it will be in the next pattern. Well, straight away, I can see that A and B are eliminated. So I would knock them out straight away. So let's get rid of A and get rid of B and we're left with C and D. Now all we need to do is to work out which one is incorrect in that sequence and I can see straight away that that upside down triangle should actually be the other way up. So the correct answer is D. And trust me, if you follow that three step process of identifying the pattern, then eliminating the answers and then choosing the correct one from what's left, you will be able to smash these abstract reasoning test questions. So now it's your turn to have a go. Let's make sure you fully understand what is required. So please put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video for marking and we'll come on here each day and mark them for you. So question two, which shape comes next in the sequence? Is it A, B, C or D? I have placed a timer here on the right hand side. Now this timer is 15 seconds. If you can answer this in 15 seconds, you are doing really well because that is a tough time frame. Now, if you do find that the timer is too short, don't worry about it. Just pause the video because it's important that you understand the process. Get that three step in place and you'll be able to smash these abstract reasoning tests. So don't forget, identify the pattern, eliminate any incorrect answers and then choose the correct one. So select your answer from A, B, C or D and put it in the comments section below. Here's the timer.
Okay, brilliant. Well done. Now, you will get to try some more of these as we go through the tutorial, but let's try a different type of abstract reasoning test question. This is question three. Which shape comes next in the sequence? So we are presented with four domino-like looking shapes, and then we have to decide which one comes here. Now, again, you can see these shapes. They look quite confusing. And if we then throw into the mix the different answer options of A, B, C, and D, all we are presented with is a lot of um, domino shapes with black dots on them. So what we have to do again is to focus on eliminating the answer options and then identifying our trend or our pattern. Now these patterns in this kind of abstract reasoning test question usually work their way either across the top and also the bottom, or the pattern might go from top left to bottom, top, sorry, bottom to top, top to bottom, and then across the bottom row, start at the bottom, go to the top, top to bottom, bottom to top, and it would alternate like that. So already you have an understanding of how the pattern might operate. So identify your pattern, eliminate incorrect answer options, and choose the correct answer from the ones that are left. So with this particular sequence, if we look at the top pattern, it goes from two to four, to two, to four, therefore there must be two there. Well, straight away we can see that B is an incorrect answer that we can eliminate, so it's either A, C, or D. And then if we work across the bottom, we have a pattern of five, four, three, two, therefore it must be one. So the correct answer there is A, because we've eliminated B, and we can therefore eliminate C and D. So you can see here that when you follow that pattern, that three-step pattern, you will be, answer, be able to answer these really, really quickly. So the answer option there is A. Now it's your turn to have a go at one of these. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. So which shape comes next in the sequence? Is it A, B, C, or D? Put your answer in the comments section below the video. Here's your timer. Brilliant, fantastic. I want you to have another go at one of these, please, just to make sure you fully understand what is required. So it's your turn to have a go at another one. This time, put your answer to question five in the comments section below the video for marking. So which shape comes next in the sequence? Now, this is a tough one. If you get this right, I've increased the timer to 17 seconds here, so I'm giving you two more seconds to try it, which doesn't sound very generous, but I want to put you under a little bit of pressure because that's how you will improve in abstract reasoning tests. So, which shape comes next in the sequence? A, B, C, or D? Here's your timer. Excellent, well done. And don't forget, if you do need more time, just simply pause the video. It's important you understand how to answer them. Now, I still have a large number of these to run through, so please do stick around. But when you are ready, if you click that link in the top right-hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my passmyjobtest.com website, where you can get access to 500 aptitude test questions and answers. So you can try these on your phone, your laptop, or your computer. It's a brilliant resource if you have to undertake any kind of job test. By the way, when you go through to the page, take a note of coupon code VIP99 and you can get a massive 80% off. VIP99. Right, let's move on. A tougher one now, abstract reasoning test question. Question number six, which shape comes next in the sequence? Is it A, B, C, or D? And again, most people who look at these will think, wow, these are confusing. I have no idea how to tackle them. But we are going to use our process. We are going to look for one pattern. Don't look at all the different shapes. Look for a pattern on one particular shape. So if we take that arrow there, as the sequence progresses, it moves round clockwise and then rotates 90 degrees. So it's going round there. And it also goes from black to dotted, from black to dotted. So therefore, we're going to be looking for one there that is black. So straight away, we can eliminate C because it hasn't got one there. Then we choose another part of the sequence, of the shape. So let's choose that triangle on the top. You'll see there it's going um, counterclockwise or anticlockwise. It's going from black to stripe 
to white. From black, therefore we want one there, which would be a stripe the next time around, because that's the pattern. So we're getting really good now at identifying patterns. Well, the only one that it's got there is D across the bottom. So therefore we can quickly eliminate A and B, and the correct answer is D. So you can see here, if you get access to those 500 test questions, you become really good at abstract reasoning tests, really, really good, because you can practice you know, under time conditions, on the go, and get really good at them. So now it's your turn to have a go at one of these. Please put your answer to question seven in the comments section below the video for marking. So which shape comes next in the sequence? Don't forget to look for a pattern here. Is it A, B, C, or D? If you get this correct, you're doing really well. Here's a timer. Fantastic, brilliant, well done. Right, let's now try a different type of abstract reasoning test question. Which shape is the odd one out? So again, we look at these and we think, God, these are confusing. But step one, identify any obvious trends. We already know how to do that. Eliminate any shapes that don't meet the trend and then choose the correct answer. So from here, we can see that on B and C and D, there is a black band at some stage with one triangle in it. Well, the correct answer here is A because it doesn't have that in it. So that is the correct answer for this one. So now it's your turn. Please put your answer to question nine in the comments section below the video for marking. Which shape is the odd one out? Is it A, B, C or D? And here's your timer. Brilliant, well done. So now all you need to do is get access to passmyjobtest.com. I'll show you the website in a second, but if you use coupon code VIP99 on this page here, okay, there's 500 plus questions. Um, you also get a course to teach you how to pass aptitude tests and literally, so at the moment it's $4.99, $4.99, but if you if put the coupon code in, you'll be able to get it um, VIP 99, click apply the coupon, and, and that drops right down. Okay, I've got too many in there, bear with me. Update the cart, return to the shop. Let me just quickly show you this again. I just want to show you that this actually works. So buy now, I'd added too many to them. Right, coupon code VIP 99, apply coupon, drops it down, look, drops it right down. Um, to literally £1.14 or $1. So it's definitely worth getting access to that. 500 test questions, practice on the go, it will make a huge difference. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that and I wish you all the best for passing your abstract reasoning test. Have a brilliant day.